we will guide you through how to connect an external disk like a hard drive or SSD to your iPad. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. Firstly, we need to identify what port your iPad has. So the port is how you charge your iPad and connect things to it. And so if you charge your iPad with a USB-C cable, this one here, this means your iPad's USB-C. Whereas if you charge your iPad with a lightning cable, it means your iPad is lightning. The main differences are is the USB-C is wider, whereas the lightning one is a bit thinner. And also the lightning cable is solid, whereas the USB-C cable, it's got sort of a slot in it. Now that you know that, go and look at your hard drive and you can see what cable that's got. Because for example, if you've got a USB hard drive or SSD, then that means you could plug it potentially straight into your iPad. As you can see here though, I've just got a USB-A, sort of that traditional USB, therefore it's not gonna fit in because I've got a USB-C iPad. So therefore we're gonna need an adapter and you can get adapters for USB-C and a lightning as well. So this is the adapter I use, it looks just like this. I'll go and put some links down below to Amazon to adapters you can use. Um, they're pretty cheap and so all we need to do is go and plug it in like so and then we can go and plug it into our iPad. And just like that, I've connected my external disc to my iPad. And so you may go and get a pop-up when you plug yours in, and it may say something about sort of using too much power. And this just means your iPad cannot give enough power to power your drive. So you'll need to go and use another one. That's sort of the easiest way around it. But if you did manage to connect it like me and get no notification, then go and open up the files app on your iPad. You can search for it if you can't find it. And then on the left here, you need to go and look into locations. And as you just saw, my external disk appeared, it's called Seagate, and your external drive or disk will also have this sort of blue icon as well. So go and click on it like so, and it'll take a moment to load, and you'll then see all of your files. Just like that. And if you want to go and move files to or from your drive, firstly, go and find it, whether it be on the Seagate or on your iPad. And then all you need to do is hold your finger on the file or folder, and then you can go and click on move just like this. You can then choose where you want to move it to. So I'll just select on my iPad, it's already selected, but I can change it on the, on the left here. And then go and click on copy, and it will then go and make a copy of it. And the time that that will take will depend upon how big the file is and the folder is. But that's it. If you found this guide useful, then please leave a like.